Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how I draw with PowerPoint. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions. I've stated I'm a very big fan of the curvy line tool. So today I'm just going to draw a little fox using um, PowerPoint. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with a blank screen and I'm going to go to insert and this is where most of the action is going to happen. So you'll see there's an insert tab and then there's shapes. And then there's lots of different shapes here. So to kick it all off, I'm going to make a circle. And just to make it um, easier to work with, I'm gonna change the color of the circle. So to change the color of a circle or any shape, double click on it and the format comes up automatically, the formatting tab. You can navigate to that yourself, but it comes up um, if you double click. And I'm gonna make the shape fill no fill and then I'm going to make the outline black, just so I can see it nicely. Um, another feature I like to do a lot is um, under shape outline, the weight, you can change the weight of the line. So I'm gonna make this just three pixels so it's nice and thick, you can see it, there we go. So I've made a circle, and now I'm gonna show you my favorite part. It's what I call the curvy line tool, I don't know if that's really what it's called, but it's under shapes, and you'll see all of these little shapes and then we have some that are lines. The first one is a squiggly line tool and that's just like if you're drawing as if with a pen on the paper, uh, on the computer. And I can't draw so I don't use that one. Um, this next one, ooh, it comes up, see, arc. It's the arc tool, that just makes an arc. You don't have a lot of control over where it goes. Um, and the next one, look at that, it is called curve. Um, I call it the curvy line tool. So we're gonna select that, that's the good one. And the way the curvy line tool works is that you set points you want it to go along and then it'll smooth out the curve nicely. So I'm gonna make his ears and I'm just gonna tell you, even if it's a little annoying, when I'm clicking, okay? So watch this, click and notice it's drawing but it doesn't anchor until I click again. Click, click, See, I'm making his little ear click. And the more um, sharp you want a curve to be, the more frequent, the closer together the click should be. So I'm going around his ear, so click. Oh, look how cute that is. Now I'm gonna click again right there. Click, click, and see, I could, whoo, that's crazy. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna mark it right there, click. And now I have this beautiful shape. I'm gonna do that same thing I did before, just make it black and make it um, a weight of three so that you can see it. Look at that beautiful ear. Now I'm gonna copy it and paste and I'm going to double click on it and go up here to rotate and flip horizontal. So it's just the exact same thing on the other side. I have to nudge it around until it fits. And now I'd like a little inner ear, okay? Oops, sorry, that's just my Windows 8 doing things that happens. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the tool again. I'm gonna start here, click, 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 mm, click. I'm roughly a click, click, following, click, the, the shape of the outside, click, and then you double click to finish. Okay, so that's how you tell it. Okay, I'm done. So I'm um, gonna make it black, doopy doopy doo. Make it three doo. I'm gonna do the exact same thing and just reflect it around. Rotate horizontal. And stick it right there. And look, he already has ears. This is great. So I'm just gonna give him a little face with the curvy line tool. There's nothing you can't do with the curvy line tool. So I'm just gonna start here. Oh, darn biscuit. I somehow didn't, I accidentally selected the arc. That happens to me all the time. Okay, now I want the curvy line tool. Click, 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 double click. Great, now I was aiming for this guy to be exactly in the middle, um, but I'm not completely confident that I succeeded, so I'm going to draw the second line from scratch so that um, it matches up nicely. I want to be more, click, click, 
and double click to finish. Okay, I'm going to make this black. I hope you can see his foxiness is coming out a little bit. And now I'm just going to use some circles. He needs little eyeballs. Maybe that's a bit big of an eyeball, but you can also make the fill different colors. So I'm going to make it that black. I'm going to make another one. That's not exactly even. There we go. And then he needs a little nose. I'll give him a black nose. Oh my goodness. There he is. There's my finished fox. And I did it all with just drawing the shapes in Microsoft PowerPoint.